Welcome to another On Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to give your enemy intelligence. As you can see, the enemies are flying into the ship. They know where the ship is and they fly at a certain angle to find the ship. Uh, once I move, of course, they are always a few seconds behind. Well, and also for the enemy, they know where the bullets are. So when I shoot, they move out of the way. So this adds a dimension of difficulty for your users to try to defeat your enemy. So your enemies are finally thinking. They're like, I'm going to crash into you and I'm not going to get hit as easily. I'm not taking this anymore. I'm fighting kind of back. So we have, I'll teach you how to create your kamikaze bullet dodging enemies. Really exciting and it adds a new dimension of fun to your game. So let's learn how to do that. All of this magic happens inside of the enemy class. If you haven't watched any of my previous tutorials, therefore you are lost. So go back to my other tutorials and watch them. They're free of charge and your grandma won't mind. So take into consideration all the things that's going on and I'm going to teach you how to do them. Think in your head, what is the best thing to give your enemy knowledge of? And that's of the bullet and where his enemy is. I mean, yeah, you have the ship, which is the hero, but you also, to the enemies, the ship is their enemy. You know, a role reversal. So, okay, let's look at how to do this. The first two things is that we added only a few things to this class. Well, a lot of things. So, okay, we added these two private variables, uh, which is yd is a number and xd, which is a number which is going to hold the rise and run of the ship. In other words, it's going to hold the distance between the Y ship, or the Y position of the ship, and the Y position of the enemy, and the same for the X. And we can find those formulas a little later on. So, okay, the first function that's called, of course, is the constructor function, same, num same name as the class. We add the event listener, and the event listener listens to see one the enemy is added to stage so we call the on add function so on add function we're finally here is what we do is like before we assign this movie clip root to the core this core um, variable which is basically gonna hold uh, or be a reference to the stage so we know that the ship is on stage so core dot sp that's the name of my ship and we access its y its y position and we subtract it by the y position of the enemy so and this is just y and it's the same thing for the x so we access the ship's x-axis or the x position and we subtract it by this x so we have the distance between the y and the distance between the x so we have two positions and we're gonna find the angle of those two positions believe it or not we added another event listener which is the enter frame loop which loops continuously inside of your movie so the first new variable another new variable inside this is the angle variable this angle variable takes those two numbers that we just subtracted and of course we put the y first and the x second and now we are gonna we put it in the math dot a tan 2 which will return us an angle in radians and boy do we like radians which is a form of angle measurement. Yeah. Anyway, we get that angle, thus the name angle, and we put this into the this formula right here and this formula right here. So what happens is we use math.cosine angle and we multiply it by three and we use and that's for the x axis. And we use for the y axis math.sine angle times three. This three right here represents the speed. So you can turn this into any variable you want to make or number you want to make it go slower or faster. So we have our x and we have our y. What happens is we get the math that cosine and we put in the angle and multiply it by three, which gives us a ratio. This is telling us how fast it needs to travel on the x axis. Um, since it's mostly coming downward, there's not going to be a lot of speed on the x-axis, but mostly the ratio sh shifts toward the y-axis. So this is this these two uh, numbers here is what makes your ship go. What makes your ship go toward your enemy, 
or not your enemy, the hero, the ship. So we are, have our enemy floating toward our ship, right dead on toward our ship, and now we're testing to see if the uh, if the enemy has been hit by any of the bullets. So of course, like last time, we trace through all the bullets, or we rather we we loop through all the bullets with the four statement. Um, now we want to find out if any of these bullets are close enough to hit our enemy. And if the enemy sees that the bullet is close enough, it needs to move away, obviously. So this is what needs to happen. We create these three items, these three magical items. The first item is similar to what we just did, which is uh, we had the hero or our ship, and we subtracted the Y from the, um, the enemy's Y. And we are doing the same item or the same idea for the X. So we, we're trying to do the Pythagorean theory or the distance formula, basically. So what's happening is we're getting the, the distance between the enemy and the bullet. So we get the rise, we get that number, and we have the run, and we get that number. And then we do the distance code, which is math square roots. Put that all in parentheses. And we put math.power, which is... Uh, when you um, powering something exponents right there and we multiply that or power it by two and we add it and we go math that power run to the second power again so we put that all inside of the square root and we get the distance so from there we can find out how close the bullet is and inside this this little if statement this is what makes our ship run away like a coward or your enemy run away like a coward it finds the distance. It says if your distance is less than 100, that means that you're really close to the ship. Um, and what we do is we test the run. So we're saying, okay, if the run if it's less than zero, it needs to go in a certain direction. If it's greater than zero, it needs to go in a certain direction. It's, it's like a, when you know you want to move out of the way. If something is a little bit to your right, you need to go to the left, and if it's to your um, left, you need to move away from it by moving to your right. You don't want to move more to your left. You're going to get hit. That's obvious. So what we do is we check to see whether it's greater or if it's less than zero. And if it's less than zero, then we want it to move in a different direction. So we add to the x-axis. Anything else, of course, we want to subtract to the x-axis. This number is how fast it's moving away from the bullet and then we close that if statement and that's it that's literally it that's the only things that we have added to when I say we I mean I have added to the uh, the enemy action script class now your enemy has the intelligence to know where the bullet is and where the enemy is and to fly over to your enemy now um, of course it stops moving closer toward your enemy or the ship when you move out of the way but if you wanted it to continue to move and touch your ship no matter where the ship goes then you would take these two lines here and you would drag it into the loop and inside of the loop it would figure out um, it would recalculate the distance between these two numbers so that's exactly how you add intelligence to your stupid enemy so now your users will have more fun playing your game. I mean, what's the use in just shooting something? It gotta, it has to know, it has to want to live. And by you making your enemies want to live, it makes it more fun to kill them. So thanks for watching another On Enter Flash tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Learned a lot about enemy interaction in your ship and all that jazz. So go over to my website. That's the only place you can download the FLA. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment. And if you have money, donate. If you don't, click on an ad or two. Put a few pennies in my pocket. Who's going to make these enemies smarter? It, it takes a teacher like me to educate these enemies. All right? Dag! Thanks for watching.